So that's where we've placed the beehive. Now you're supposed to have two of them, so you can see how each of them are performing. This is a national hive, the most popular in the UK. I really wanted a Langstroth, uh, one of those flow hives where you just turn on the tap and the honey comes out, but uh, it's quite a big investment and perhaps I should learn from doing it the conventional way. So that's what I've done. I've laid it on two 4x4 wood planks on a slight hill here, as you can see. Uh, so it's in a fairly sheltered spot. Prevailing wind is from over there and it's sheltered by trees, not over hanging branches anywhere. And the sun east is over there. Sun comes all the way over here and then west is over there. And the entrance should be east facing. So this is the entrance here. Uh, I'll take it all to pieces and we can have a look inside. This is from, I went to an exhibition at Stoneleigh in Birmingham. Uh, bee equipment, they had a big, big stand there. So not, uh, not endorsed by them in any way. So it's uh, a national, I've got the roof, which just is there, put that to one side. Then you have the crown board. And then you have the super, one frame in there already. So two shallow supers. This is the second super. We'll put some frames in there. Queen excluder board, that stops the queen going up from the brood box, which is this one, up into the supers. So it's just plastic mesh. Then you've got the brood box. It's where the bees keep their honey for the winter and where the queen remains. And then you've got a base, a base here with a, uh, you can alternate the size of the opening. So there's a large opening there. You can see that. And we can change it to a smaller one. And I haven't quite worked out which way it is for fully closed, but they say to start it off, use a smaller one. There's a, there's a mesh thing that comes out. So I'll put that there, east facing here. On with the brood box. This is where the nuke of bees, I've got a nuke of buckfast bees. And they're coming from BSBs in uh, Gloucester. Then the queen excluder. And then I'll put that super there. I've already, you have to make these up. You can have them fully assembled. So that's what it looks like there. So you've got the base brood box. That's the brood box. Green excluder, the yellow one, super one, super two, and the frames go in there. These are like a plastic foundation, and the spacing goes in there. Now I'm going to put all these ones in as well. syrup feeder which will sit on top of the crown board I believe I need to read up on top of the crown board and below the roof because the bees will need feeding uh, if they're new bees in September sorry in spring and September in the spring and the autumn they need feeding but that's pretty much the setup it's going to replace the crown board Which is that one there, put that just like that. Oh, quite a heavy roof, which goes on top. Now I should really have a second one. One does look a bit lonely, so maybe, maybe we'll have a second one. We'll see how this one goes anyway, it's uh, pretty stable.
sheep haven't knocked it over. So I'll show you how to do the frames. Uh, comes in a kit. Comes in a kit, so that's what it uh, kind of looks like. And you can buy them pre-assembled or you can make them yourself. So that's like the uh, top bar. And you need one top bar, two uh, battens, and two side bars. We have grooves down as well. And you can get wax foundation or plastic foundation. So mine are shallow, shallow uh, supers. So these are wax and you can put them together. You uh, take off the, there's a part there and it's been serrated. So you take that off. Might need to use a Stanley knife just to cut it off. There we go. And that comes off. As that was laying in there. So you take that off, keep that safe. 